active recreation is all about quality of life and then we use a person-centered approach a holistic approach it's just all about using recreation as a tool for wellness and as a tool for happiness and quality of life at um, the end of people's lives we're looking for people that have a, a deep interest in working with seniors people who like uh, a flexible environment because things change daily around here. It is a skill set of um, all the human side of things. So the, the people that I look for have a natural skill set generally of just being able to understand who people are. People who are creative and want to express and share their creativity with their elders. So talents like uh, music and art are always really beneficial. Just people who enjoy sharing time um, with our elders. My job basically is to help older adults have fun. It's fantastic. I wake up every day excited to go to work. I got my degree in uh, biomedical physiology and kinesiology, and then I worked in kin for about a year. Going into therapeutic recreation was like a natural progression from kinesiology. For that, I was glad I had kind of an exercise therapy background in order to go along with the recreation therapy. Thanks for showing, Shirley. Shirley, smells good. I feel productive, like I've helped somebody that my career makes a difference in people's lives, and that's something that I was really looking for in a career. Um, before I started in therapeutic recreation at Stenberg, I was uh, carried for nine years and was just really wanting to uh, change my career and to find something more creative oh. <laughs> and uh, also working and helping uh, seniors in care. I immigrated here September 2012. I had a hard time finding a job related to healthcare. And before I took the course, I was working full-time in Vancouver Aquarium and I continue working as a full-time while taking the course. <laughs> Charlie, have a seat here first. Where's the other one? Oh, there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what I found out about elder patient, even just uh, acknowledging them there, what's their concern? You don't need to do something, but just listen to them, actively listen to them. Then you receive a thank you for that. For me, that's a, uh, that's, uh, that's very fulfilling for me. Everyone has life domains, physical, spiritual, social, emotional, and cognitive, and we try to address, we try to work on their strengths, maintain those strengths, and address the deficits. So this is a reminiscing program about dogs. So we're just going to talk about happy memories, maybe experiences that you've had or dogs that you've had in the past. And so I put some items on the table that you can look at that maybe might spike some memories for you. When they're thinking about uh, past memories, um, that's, that's cognition and that's, that's them working to try to remember the memories in relation to whatever it is we're talking about. It helps them to be more social and socialize with the people around them. I don't think I'll ever walk again, but three days a week, I have my exercises. We do upper and lower body, and we don't use any weights. It's all body weight only. And uh, we also do a little bit of agility, um, posture analysis, and a little bit of um, kind of coordination. So we do some hand-eye coordination with a ball toss and, and those kinds of things. I think the benefits of, of being outside are, are huge. Smell the air, you know, you can, you can feel textures, you can, you can smell things, you can taste herbs, you know, you can um, see it, you can hear it. Nature's going to affect you at just about any stage of your life, I would think. We're down the street and press it down. How do you do that? How do you do it? There's a huge demand for recreation professionals, particularly working with seniors in long-term or complex care, there's a huge demand. And th there's been a shortage for a really long time, so I think it's gonna take a long time before the, the industry has enough people. Smile.
The Stenberg program is designed to fill a need, a huge need that's out there right now. Um, and a lot of rec therapists who are working as managers in the field need qualified people that understand the language of recreation therapy or therapeutic recreation. Most of our students are employed weeks after they finish practicum. Some are fortunate enough to be hired while on practicum. The need is there yeah. and it's a growing industry. I got hired from my practicum and I think that was because my manager here or my practicum supervisor felt that the education I had at Stenberg was very helpful in being prepared to start working in a care facility. I hired right away two, two of your first graduates and I understand that they all they all had jobs when they graduated. 85% of anyone in a facility now has some degree of dementia. It's a, you have to understand it, and, and Stenberg puts a lot of time and, and effort into educating the, the, um, their students on, on those areas. The Stenberg program is specific to working with frail elders and geriatrics. That's probably what we need. The time that they spend the 11-month program is very concentrated on learning all about seniors. I learned a lot and even today I can't believe the amount that I've learned and the quality of information that I learned as well. Um, just it applies to everything that um, I'm doing now. Going to Stenberg and learning about recreation therapy and working with older adults completely changed the career that I was headed towards. Anybody could do this job if you love caring for individuals. I'm looking for a sense of fulfillment. So I want something every day is different. If you want that kind of fulfillment, recreation is a good career to choose. The only sure thing is Canadians are aging and the baby boomers are, are becoming senior citizens and it's one of the best fields to be working in right now. It's a growing industry and the jobs are available. And I mean, when I come to a place like this and the people are so good and so kind, I think, well, I am loved, I am respected, and, uh, well, I don't know what else I need to say. <laughs>